This is um, Diary Blanc 5, or it could be 6, but I missed one out. So this is actually Diary, anyway, Diary Blanc, let's call it number 6. And today is the 4th of August, going time so quickly, and it is 0.12. Might mean something to you, might not, but um, there you are. Anyway, um, today was some, no it wasn't, it was Saturday, but I didn't work, so it felt like a Sunday. And I haven't really done very much. I went out and got my car ready for tomorrow. I got myself a nice little Chevy, not a big V8 Chevy, a little Chevy Silver. Nice little grey, it's better than silver, so I don't like silver. And um, I prefer that to lots of courses. So my little Chevy Spark, and then um, at least I got one today, I didn't get one today. So um, I should count myself lucky. And then I went down to the Barbican and I sat and had something to eat. I had fish and chips and it was very nice, lots of peas. Um, and um, a cup of coffee. And I read my book and I was watching them, like you usually do. And um, then my friend, Harry you came on. <laughs> um, I persuaded him to watch my blogs, so he, he might do that, he'll be the only one. So if you're watching this, as I did mention the other show, anyway, Harry Hughes is very nice, he's got his hair, unlike me. And um, this is the thing you see, I always wanted lots of hair. Now when I was young, I had lots of hair, it was dark, nearly black wavy, not curly, wavy, and it was a bit of a mess, but when I grew it, the waves turned into beautiful locks of flowing dark hair, and this is what I wanted to see, I wanted it coming down all around my shoulders, down to my bum at the back, I wanted to be the person with the longest hair, but unfortunately my stepmother didn't want the same thing. So every year, before we went on a little summer holiday, she used to make me cut it off. So then I'd have short hair again. So I used to try and grow it quickly in the year, make it longer. And when I got to the age when I could say, bug it off, I'm going to grow it, I started falling out. I was about 17. I had my fringe cut, and one of my friends at school said, You're going bald. And I said, No, I'm not. I just had my fringe cut. But he was right, and I was wrong. Because from that moment on, it just went out really quickly. Which was horrible. And people say it doesn't matter, but when you're 17, it matters a lot. Especially when you want, when you want lots of long hair. And um, this is what I wanted more than anything. And um, I wasn't able to have it. I used to have long hair at the back, and sort of not much on top. And it just looked stupid. And that's probably why um, none of the girls liked me, because um, it was very fickle. And um, nowadays it wouldn't be so bad, because the fashion is to sort of shave your head. But in, in those days it wasn't. So it was a big thing. And little kids used to sort of tease me and go, baldy, 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 and all that stuff. So, um, and this is, this is the thing, you see, because it kind of gives you um, confidence, almost, lack of, lack of confidence. So you have a lack of confidence from a very early age in the way that you look. Now some people are extremely ugly. They might be spotty, they might be ginger. We shouldn't say that, that's not, that's not all. But anyway, and um, you might have glasses, you might have goofy teeth, and they're just not very good looking. Other people are extremely good looking. And um, it's not really fair, isn't it? Because if you're good looking, people want to talk to you. And if you're not, they don't. Most people, some people aren't people, but most people are. And it does have an effect. And um, I was just thinking this now, like, because I'm 52, and I hate the way I look. And um, I don't like me with my bald head. I wish I had hair. And I don't like my little piggy eyes. I don't like my nose. When I was at school again, people used to tease me and call me nipple nose. 
gitu nah nih nggak usah pinjam aku terus udah lah kita punya ini jadi kan anyway asam pinjam saya udah agak lama sih dari itu sesi dan and then the bed which is going white now it's horrible because I want it black and it used to be black and now it's going white but it goes white in bits it's like when you lose any hair it just loses all your hair you lose bits because every day you kind of got to adjust your style to the fact that you just lost a bit more a bit like that with your beard every day you got a few more white bits now when you got white beard you can look quite distinguished but when you just got like white coming through it doesn't so I don't like that and I hate the fact that really really hate it some people have a long well they don't even have long chins but some people's chins sort of stick out and then they have a sort of no fat around here they have nice little thin necks thin necks and some people like me have got greatly fat necks so it's not even a double chin properly it's just like an extension of my fat neck and I can't find that either now, this might all sound a bit petty to people that don't have to worry about these things, but it does, as I said, every day you look in the mirror and you see your big eyes and your fat neck and your beard that's going, going white, lack of hair on top, piggy nose, and, and, and that's ear, that's the other thing, because they used to say to me, you've got no earlobes. Well, I have, but they used to tease me because I was an early. So, I don't know what, my life is like but um, I don't like the shape of my ears. It'd be quite nice if my ears were sort of smaller than my ears like that. And um, black people tend to have very tiny ears and they look quite nice. But other people have greatly flappy ears, a bit like Dumbo. And they don't look so nice. Now, if you've got hair, you can sort of cover it over. But if you haven't got hair, you've got to expose your ears. And um, that's another little thing to worry about. And then the other thing is my body, which is extremely fat. And I hate fat people. Ooh, for instance. I know that's not very nice, but I do. The sight is a little bit of flab. Can't stand it. Makes you feel sick. And there I am. As fat as fat can be. And I don't even realise it. You know, I'm sitting there quite happily. Thinking I'm not, not that fat. And then I look in the mirror or whatever. And I realise I'm usually fat. And I don't know where it came from. Because when I was little, I wasn't that fat. I went through a stage when I was about 13 and I had a bit of puppy fat and my auntie really upset me and told my dad that I was getting fat but then I got really skinny again and when I was young I was, I was skinny like everyone else and you know I think it's once I started working properly and driving maybe that I started putting a bit of weight on but it wasn't until maybe I was about sort of approaching 40 but I realised I have this horrible, huge, fat belly. It just sort of came. Once I didn't have hair, and then this I did. And it's solid and it's like, um, it's quite muscular. It's not flabby. So, um, I worried about it and thought, maybe I'm ill. So I don't eat that much. I eat those crap. And sometimes, you know, I'd be a bit of a pig. But I don't think, in the scheme of things, I eat that much. And I've just got this huge fat on me. And again, I look around at all the other people, and they haven't got one. Especially men. Men tend not to have fat families. Unless they're in, there's a few, obviously. But and I look at other fat people, and they're sort of jumping up and down, and sort of dancing and doing stuff. My fat belly just weighs on me. And it makes it extremely hard to do anything. I just don't want to, got no energy, you know, well. and um, I do lots of sit-ups and stuff, but my fat belly gets in the way, and um, I hate it. So there I was I thinking this, you know, and then I was thinking, what do beautiful people think? You know, they look in the mirror, and they see beautiful eyes, perfect nose, nice white teeth, full compliments, nice structured chin, I've got a neck, nice hair, style it, colour it, do what you want with it. And um, then they might have nice bodies, quite muscular, and um, more delicate to do them, and, and bronze, and um, nice skin, 
and nothing to worry about. Now, probably everyone does worry about some things, but there are people which are so beautiful they don't, they need a mind. So, do they or not? They probably do. But, um, um, anyway, I was on, on the barbecue and say at the restaurant, like they do, where Harry Hugh works, and there was one girl there who was extremely beautiful working in the cafe next door. Not my type particularly, but you know, beautiful. And um, there was another girl there and I saw an orange dress on. And it was a very, very intense orange. Not many people could have worn that dress. But she has lovely bronze skin and it looked nice now. Um, I bet they don't worry about how they look. And um, there's another girl that works in the same cafe who wasn't there today, unfortunately. And um, again, she's not really my type, but she's just extremely beautiful. And she's a quite girl and um, sort of got platinum blonde hair and a um, really nice smile and um, just generally beautiful. And um, I was watching her the other day, and um, it must have a huge effect on your um, self esteem, etc., and um, the way you react to other people, and all that stuff. And um, then it's beautiful. So it'd be quite interesting to have a chat to someone who's beautiful about it one day, see what they think. Because everyone says that beauty is within, but we all know it isn't. Um, So there we are. I think I might stop this blog at that point because I'm really tired. So if you're watching Terry Hugh, you, don't be lonely, or maybe we can get to know each other a bit better. And this blog is a bit quiet, I didn't, I didn't speak up. 